Hello, this is Daniel Moore back again, and today I'm gonna to be doing another video, another vlog style video, and this one's gonna be this one's gonna be a little, very much a different video. It has nothing to do with acting, nothing to do with filmmaking. Uh, it's mostly because I don't really know how to go about it because it's not really something I've discussed that extensively here on the channel. But at the same time, I kind of just want to bring you into this world just a little bit. I do want to tell you guys a little bit about my personal life, I guess. This weekend, I'm going on a church retreat with my church. Um, I go to Cavalry, Miami. It's about five minutes away from where I live right here. And I've been going to them since April. Um, April 8th, if I'm not mistaken. And actually, the very first day I went, it was I literally just called it Taco Monday because it was one of their like event days, so to speak. So yeah, and we are currently July. It's July 11th right now. So yeah, we have a church retreat Basically today, my friend is going to pick me up in about the next half hour, give or take, um, to go there. And it's all the way in, in some town. I, I always forget what it's called, but you know, it's written right there. And it's about two or th two to three hours away from here. Um, two hours, maybe three hours of traffic. We're probably going to stop for gas or food at some point too, so there's that. And it's going to be five of us going right there in his car. It's going to be me, him. One of the guys we're rooming with, and then his sister and her friend. So all five of us are gonna go there, and we're gonna meet up with our church. Essentially, um, I want to say there's maybe about fifty to seventy people going. I'm not really sure, but that would seem like a safe estimate. And yeah, again, I've just been trying to be closer to God, find God, however you want to phrase that, so to speak. And yeah, and not to get too deep into it, into my religious background, so to speak. But you know, I was raised Catholic. I was raised Catholic. Um, got away. From it around high school um, and for the longest time I said I was I was agnostic which is for those who don't know what agnosticism is it's the belief that there is something out there spiritually you just don't know what that is and you can't really define it so you can't really define it as oh this is you know God this is the Abrahamic God or this is Allah or you know Buddhist you know this is you know Buddha or Siddhartha or whatever you know whatever or even the spaghetti monster, because that's an actual religion, the spaghetti monster religion, you know? Um, or, you know, you like, you, you don't, that's the thing with agnosticism, you don't really know what it is. And I have a friend who does go there, who, who's been going there for about two years, I wanna say. Um, if I'm mistaken, about a year and a half, two years. And yeah, they're the ones who brought me in. And, you know, they're a friend that cares a lot about me. So I'm like, you know, screw it, you're always right anyway, so let's go, you know? Um, and yeah, it's been since April, here I am now. Two, three months set. Uh, basically, April, May, let's see, May, June, July, three months later, and I'm going on a trip with them. Go figure. Um, so yeah, it's gonna be this whole weekend, and it's gonna be at this retreat. I can't forget the name of the town, but there you go. And I'm, I'm almost curious to see if it's a beach town. And I think it's. It, I think it is near the coast. It's on the other side of Florida, um, not on the Panhandle, but like on the other, like other coast of Florida, like where the Gulf of Mexico is. You know. Um, I think that would still. I think that area would still be considered the Gulf. So yeah, that's where we're going. I, I do wonder if it's a beach town, to be honest. But who knows? I've never. I've never been to the other side of Florida. That's the thing. I've never. When it comes to Florida, um, I've only been here in the Tri-State County area of Miami Dade, Broward, and West Palm, or Palm Beach County. I've been to Orlando and some and Lakeland, which is like right outside of Orlando. And then past that, I've never really been anywhere else in Florida. You know, I've like I've driven through Florida, but like I haven't stayed anywhere. If that makes sense. Yeah, we're gonna do that this I'm, i'll see how much i vlog um so yeah but just want to show you some stuff here so i still need to pack up some stuff i just finished packing up the only real the only thing i need to pack up left is basically my computer here and the charger that's really the only stuff i need to pack up left and i'm gonna see if i can fit everything into this bag bag because i don't want to fit everything i don't want to bring two bags that's the thing um this is the bag i usually use to go to church with where i have my bible so i have two bibles and that's the one that they have at the church they could take and then this is the one and uh, you know, the other one Bible. This is what King James. So yeah, and you guys probably saw this in one of my. You guys saw this in one of my haul videos. I think my Christmas haul video, if I'm not mistaken. So yeah, and that's basically. It. So I don't want to take that. So I'm, hopefully I could stuff my computer. It's really the computer I'm kind of scared about. Hopefully I can stuff it all in here, and that's it. So yeah, my, again, my friend should be here in the next half hour, give or take. So we'll see. We'll see what happens, and I'll take you to the trip. It's gonna be a fun. It's gonna be a, a fun couple days. And honestly, I've been excited for this trip since, since you know, I paid for the trip and all that. And you no, know, especially in the past week, we've been talking about it a lot. Like, oh my gosh, we're so excited and all this stuff. So it's really cool. It's really cool to take a trip with friends. And yeah, I'm just really excited. It's just one of those things. Like, I don't, I don't really know what to expect. That's kind of the thing. So I think that's where I'm kind of lost a little bit. I don't know what to expect. Um, 
but you know, hopefully it's all good. Hopefully we learn, get closer to him, and you know, go from there. All right, let's see what happens next. So I'm at the church retreat. So you guys saw some of the montage to get here. He signs in, signs in, checked in, whatever. And I'm at the, I'm at the pool, Lazy River. It's really fun. Got wet. Almost lost my hat. Almost broke my glasses halfway to wet. <sighs> so yeah, and I mean, we've only been here for about what two hours, give or take. Um, so we don't have to do our any of our on our itinerary. We don't do anything till seven, like prayer stuff and Bible study stuff and whatever. So we have some time. It's what? What time is it right now? Uh, can I not tell time right now? It is five, a little bit past five. Um, so yeah, it's five ten. Yeah. Um, so that's so far it's good. I'm not sure how much I'm gonna be able to film to be honest, because you know I'm supposed to be with God, and it's one of those things. I technically speak, I should be off of distractions. So go figure. But oh yeah, I'll see what I can. Go from there, and at the end of the day. I think the experience video, whatever, I'll tell you the whole feelings and what I felt and everything. So yeah, I just wanted to give you this quick little update. Now, I'll go back to the pool. So, it's the end of the first day. It, I'm filming this right now at 1.30 in the morning, essentially. Um, some of the guys are still playing games in the game room. I'm starting to fall asleep. I just want to do like a, like a quick um, update on what happened today. And it look, it's kind of nice outside right now, so I guess you guys have to deal with this bad lighting. But today was a really good day. Um, yeah, today was a really good day. I think, I feel like if I had a breakthrough, um, how one of the pastors put it, I, you know, I surrendered, I guess, finally to God, um, which, yeah, makes sense. Um, the image that kind of sticks out to me, basically, is like, and they say this often in church, um, but you know, you're just crying in front of God, kneeling down at His feet, uh, begging, begging him to not necessarily save you because in his eyes you're always saved um, if you believe in him and all that good stuff but you know just begging for forgiveness and redemption and everything like that and you know arrogance and pride are a sin so there's that and I'm not going to deny I'm very arrogant I'm very prideful and a lot of that pride a lot of that arrogance is a Mechanism. It's a coping mechanism because of some of my traumas from my past. I'm not gonna discuss them right now, but also some of my past traumas to like not be hurt again, so to speak. And I've been thinking about this for the past two weeks because in a sermon, I forget if I forget if this was during mass or during the youth group nights that we have. But at one point, it was said that there's no exceptions to do anything. Uh, there's no exceptions to not believe in God. Except, not exceptions, um, there's no, yeah, no, so, so yeah, because of that, there's no exceptions to do that, you know, no, ex no exceptions, no excuses, that's the word I'm looking for, no excuses, my bad, there's no excuses to not believe in God, um, and not do stuff for God, you know, I go to Mass, pray, read the Bible, whatever, 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 and that really hit home with me about two weeks back, and from there on, I've been trying to live sorry think about that mentality like there's no excuse to do to not do this this and that you know what I mean and one of my biggest 
things. It's not fear. I wouldn't call it, I wouldn't go so far as to call it a fear, but it's it is something there that kind of I'm, I guess paranoid would be the best way to describe it. But one of the things that kind of I'm that's there for me is that I'm not comfortable crying in front of other people. Um, honestly, you could blame Meisner for that. Meisner technique kind of screwed me over, screwed me up a bit. PTSD from that. But yeah, I mean, a lot of that pain comes from people who have hurt me in the past, and I'm trying to let that go. I'm trying to forgive. And just to give you an example, if you guys saw my video from last month, um, when I said, when I did my list of top 15 worst experiences, projects that I was a part of, you could see a lot of that anger come out. And I'm not gonna lie, that was very therapeutic. I'm not, I'm not gonna deny that part, but it was very therapeutic. But it's one of those things that's, and I've done this in the past too, where I'm doing this thing for a short-term reward, but in the long run, long run, I am hurting myself. And I feel like to a certain extent, that's what I did, even though I want, and here's the thing, I did want to be transparent with you guys. I don't care if it got like five views. I, like the views are really not an issue for me. Like I really don't care. Um, but still, I just, it was during editing that video that I kind of felt like, ooh, should I really be doing this? I still did it, but you know, there you go. But you know, part of it is still that transparency. But part of it, like, it did dig up a lot of emotions that I didn't want to re-experience anymore, especially like some of those top tier ones, like with Aerosage Stage and NDYs, for example. Um, so yeah, but it's one of those things, I think I'm finally at a place where I'm finally let, uh, ready to let go. I've been doing that for the past two weeks where I'm letting go of all my anger and my stuff, you know, against people, people who have hurt me, betrayed me, I'm, I'm really starting to let that go in the past two weeks. And um, you know, it's a journey, it's a process, it's not gonna, it's not like a flip up a switch, you know what I mean? So, yeah. Yeah, I'm not gonna die, I cried my eyes out at his feet, so to speak. Um, I went to, his name is George, I went to one of the pastors because at the end of the sermon, so to speak, they, if you wanted to talk to one of the pastors, one of the, one of the youth leaders, you could go up, pray with them, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And one of my guys here is George, um, and we just, talked about that and about my anger and my trauma and my betray people betrayed me and all that stuff and he prayed for me and it's one of those things like before that during the sermon we were learning about Isaiah um, Isaiah chapter 6 um, verses like 1 to about 10 I want to say give or take um, and what it says there it's Isaiah who he finally re he finally realizes that he's not that he himself is also a sinner he, that he himself is also a sinner and that's one of those things like I've always thought that in the sense that like we're all sinners like I don't understand why sometimes people don't realize that and like even even in a non-religious sense we're all assholes it, you know like we're all and I that may seem like a very negative way to view it but at the same time like we're all self-interested assholes some people less than others like but still we're all assholes to a certain extent and to make it biblical we're all sinners and it kind of, it's one of the things that always baffles me when people don't realize that fact that we're all sinners or we're all assholes or whatever whatever word you want to use, you know, dicks, whatever. And and Isaiah, he's one of the prophets, you know? So he's like, so him above anybody else, I feel like, is someone who should have realized this in chapter one, not chapter six, you know what I mean? Um, but yeah, long story short, I just didn't really connect with that story at first. Because it's like, yo, how do you not realize this? Da, da, da. I'm not trying to be judgmental either because like, I understand everybody's journey is different. But like, and that's one of those things. And that's another thing I just have to work with. Don't be so judgmental. But yeah, then I went to go talk to George because that was a sermon that Isaiah stuff. Then I went to go talk to George. And he prayed for me. And it was walking back from George to the table where I was sitting at, which is maybe like 10 steps. That's where I started breaking down. And then I just prayed to God. On that table, and my boy Anthony, he um he was right he was right there trying to comfort me. The thing is, I kind of just blocked him out for like about a minute or two because I, like I was just deep in my thoughts, and really good day, really good day, and I just like night. Let me just show you very fast. So I'm not sure if you could really see it that well here, but this is how it looks right now. I'm here at the front of the pool. It's drizzling just a little bit, so there's that. But we have an amazing pool here. It looks great in the moonlight with those lights. It's incredible. So yeah, that's the end of day one. Just fantastic, just a fantastic day. Um, let's see what day two brings us.
happy birthday to you. I guess. I dare you to blow on it. All right, end of day two. Um, Pre-eventful day. It was my boy's birthday as well. So there's that. Oh, framing. So yeah, as I said yesterday, um, I finally surrendered to God. And today's just now me living in His grace. Uh, first day of truly living in His grace, if, if that makes sense. Um, I forget if I said this yesterday. And if I did, well, I'll say it again. <clears throat> Pero... Actually, I don't think I said this yesterday because I didn't think about this till this morning. Now I think about it. Pero... I'm reminded of something that happened to me pre-pandemic. Um, so I went to KCACTF, the third and last year that I went there, which was when I was with MDC, Miami Dade College. Um, and during that time, I was very down bad, depressed essentially, and you know, I had a girlfriend, she broke up, or actually maybe I did say this, I don't remember. Um, but yeah. And we had this big blowout temper tantrum, like not temper, like everybody in, who was in that room, because we, we were literally watching Princess, Princess and the Frog, and then somebody said something that got some in, in saying that they got emotional and that caused everybody else to get emotional. We all just kind of trauma dumped, right? And just one of the people who happened to be there was my ex girlfriend and a bunch of other fake friends, right? And. During that trip, not that same day, but during that trip, there was also a moment where I decided to go out in the rain. It was raining heavily that trip. Um, was this in Americas or Spartanburg? I don't remember anymore, but whatever. Um, but I think it was Spartanburg, actually. Spartanburg, North Carolina? One of the Carolinas. Pero, como se dice? One of the days, I just went out in the rain and just, like, cried... And I don't know if I was angry at God. I don't even know if God was even a factor. Or if I was yelling at God, praying to God. I don't even know if God was even a thing. Or if I was just mad with my thoughts. Como sea. So. I remember walking in the rain for about a good half hour. Going to the Walgreens or CVS. I was right there on the corner. I took shelter there for a little bit before I keep walking. And. There was a, there was a mall across from the 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 hotel that we were sleeping at and south the carolina is very i don't again i don't remember south or north but whatever, whatever carolina we were in it's a very hilly area you know with lots of hills up and down and the, the mall the parking lot is situated on this hill so there's like a big almost like a cliff like a, maybe a two-story cliff wall and i'm not gonna sit here, and i i never consider jumping and even if i did i, don't, I probably would have gotten hurt but i wouldn't have died two stories um but it was more like I imagined of what if I were to jump. I knew I wasn't going to jump. I didn't want to jump, but I always thought about what if, what would have happened next. I also during that during that day, just during that trip in general, I thought about running away. There was a train station relatively nearby. I'm like, what if I just go, go to like Philadelphia or New York or Jersey or whatever, just like away, because I don't want to be around these people anymore. So I so that was at the beginning of the trip. This whole rendezvous in the rain and having those thoughts, and then two three days later is when we had the whole powwow, temper tantrum between all of us, therapy session, whatever. I felt empty the next day. Like I felt hungover. I, there was no alcohol involved, but I felt hungover, and it just felt empty. Like something did not feel right. I let all of it out, but something just did not feel right. Um, and you know, closer to the pandemic, because this was early 2020, um, they started be these people, my friends, started betraying me, um, ex girlfriend included. They're using that trauma that I had told them, those that PTSD stuff that I told them, as a way to say that oh, this is why Daniel and me should not be trusted at all. Um, because this, this, and that, I'm like, that's not fair, you know? 
Um, and they use that against me from basically when, when that happened to even after the pandemic had started. And I bring that up because I was reminded of it last night when I broke down, similar to four years back, I broke down in front of friends. Thing is that back then, four years back, it, it was friends, whereas now it's friends. If not, not even then, I go as far as say family. I would say family at this point. Um, you know? And yesterday, when I was filming the night cart, it was raining a little bit, I think I said that. So, you know, now it wasn't a full-on thunderstorm like it was four years back when I was walking the streets of Spartanburg. Pretty sure it's Spartanburg. Um, but it was a drizzle. And I had my powwow, and then when I woke up this morning, on me, I had like that hungover, hungover feeling, but it wasn't empty. It was, it, it seemed fulfilled, fulfilled. And then, yeah, like this whole day I've just been living in the grace of God, so to speak. Um, I'm just going on the lazy river because we have a lazy river here in the pool and, you know, hanging out. Right now it is like a little bit past 2.30 in the morning, Saturday. Um, I was playing like Wii Sports with the boys right now. Um, I just wanted to come out here because like, I like the night sky. I enjoy going out and looking at the night sky and just basking in its glory. Even before this, I've always liked just going outside at night and just looking at it, you know? And that's what I'm doing right now. So yeah, it's good. Um, everything's good. Everything's good. Um, that thorn, I guess you could say, the thorn of hatred, I guess you could say. Um, I'm still trying to let that go. I'm still trying to forgive the people who hurt me way back when. And it's not just the people from four years back, it's people from high school, it's people in the industry, whatever. All these people. Because you have to accept that that hurt, you don't deserve that, you know? Like, you do not deserve that hurt, that hurts, that pain that you were given. Um, and that's, I guess, what I'm in the process of doing right now. I'm just pensive, I guess, in the best way possible. Um, I don't know, the ramblings of a bad man, I guess you could say, but yeah, that's, that's all I really have to say to so today, Saturday, it's the last day, um, checkout is at 11, if I'm not mistaken, but I think we're going to do a late checkout, I'm not completely sure about that one, and then we'll head back to Miami, and so I'll do my final thoughts on that, and go from there, and that's really it, um, it's a really good trip really good informative therapeutic trip um i didn't know what to expect to be honest if i even came i i, I honestly didn't come with any expectations point blank and period so yeah i'm just grateful i guess yeah grateful i'm still figuring it out you know it's all the process so yeah um that's basically for now I'm probably still going to stay out here just to listen to a bit of music before I head up stairs. And yeah, but that's really it. Uh, see y'all later. Bye. y'all here i am back again back in miami i'm in coral gables right now i just left the film shoot which i can lie really bad but you'll see that in the video that i dedicated for that one but um yeah it's been a few days since the resort since i came back we came back on sun saturday came back on saturday it is currently thursday um so yeah this time last week i would have been going up there and yeah and, yeah it looks ready as shit right now um <laughs> jesus christ but um so I just want to give you my final thoughts, like wrap up this video. And honestly, I thought this this trip was amazing. Um, Colombian restaurant, a little cafecito here. That's that's here in um, Coral Gables. Yeah, I thought this this trip was amazing. It brought me closer to what I was looking for. Um, I 
Yeah, it, it comes down to like what I need to do in life, and that is accept God for who He is and what He's done for me in in my life, essentially, and just learning about Him. I mean, I've been, I think I said this earlier, but I've been doing this this century since November, um, when I was first read the gospel. I guess you could say. Um, yeah, when I first read the gospel, or whatever. So, yeah. Uh, just making sure that's not my, my ride. Um, so that's when my friends read the gospel to me back in back in November, and yeah, it's from there. So I've just been chasing it, thinking about it, craving it, whatever. Um, I started going to church in April. Well, for the youth group stuff, and then mass or sermons or worship or fellowship or whatever the proper word is right now. Um, since for a month already, so June since June, um, and then July went and did the resort, and it's just been an evolution ever since then. I feel like every single month I hit a new mile marker, a new um, yeah, new mile marker, a new landmark, a new goal, or whatever you want to call it. All this noise, but yeah, I feel like I do that every single month now because just kind of taking on the journey a little bit. Like that first month from April to May. I was like, I was kind of half-assing it, I'll be honest. I was like, yeah, maybe, maybe not, we'll see what happens. And then um, I had a very heavy discussion with somebody. And then I'm like, okay, let me take this seriously. So from May to June, that's when I really started paying attention, putting in the work. Um, and then June, June 10th specifically, is when I finally accepted God into my life. But I appreciate sure I said this already in the video earlier. I think there's a difference between accepting and surrendering. So from June to July, it's me really fully surrendering, trying to let him, allowing him to let go of all my pain, Helping me through all those struggles and whatever have you, um, with people betraying me and my rage against that and you know, hatred about that and like all the self-loathing I have because of that as well. And again, like on the trip, I surrendered to him. I appreciate sure I said this, but it felt like going through an exorcism. So yeah, now I'm here. I still struggle with anger. I mean, I, this film set kind of pissed me off. You'll see why, you know, when I do the video for it. But yeah, but, you know, I, you know, I'm gonna sit here and say I'm perfect. Nobody's perfect, but um. You know, it's basically the journey you take along the way, and this journey I want to take it with him, and here we are now. Um, it's one of those things I don't, I'm not the type of person to say, oh, I never thought I would do this, I never thought I would do that. I, I don't really think in that binary. Um, I feel, just kind of give you an example, especially because I'm a filmmaker, I always find it very weird when people, when a filmmaker says, oh, I never thought I could do this. And I'm like, why? Why didn't you think you could do this? You're doing this because you actually do think you could do it. It's just, it's, I just find that self-doubt kind of odd. And that's kind of how I view this too. I find so I, I so like it's not that I say this. Oh, I never thought I could be with him. It's just that I never really. I don't. I, I'm not saying that because oh, I never thought I could be with him because I don't. I didn't want to be with him or I just didn't think he would accept me. No, it's because I quite literally never thought like I never. He was never a part of my life. Is what I'm mm -hmm. trying to say. But now that he is, I'm like, oh, okay, cool. I do think I could be. He could be a part of my life, and I could accept him and all this good stuff. Um, hopefully, all the noise is gone now. Hopefully, but um, so that's more like in that binary now. Um. You know, there's still those struggles of, you know, anger, rage, rage against the machines, actually good bands. But uh, yeah, it's more like that, just rage towards other people, towards myself sometimes, and, you know, I have to be more forgiving and empathetic towards others, there's that too, which I do struggle with from time to time, but uh, I think that's that's what it's come down to. So yeah, I've accepted God into my life. Um, I'm sorry, I'm just very tired because, god damn, this film set. <laughs> you know, but I'm not perfect, I'm like, I'm... Clearly, I still curse from time to time, especially if you see, see my, especially if you see some of my other videos. I definitely I still curse, so it kind of is what it is. But again, nobody's perfect, and you know you do try to get yourself better over time. You do try to change your behaviors and whatever um, over time, so you can be more, so you can live more holy, so to speak, or right? live a better life. Um, but yeah, that's basically the the journey now. I go on to continue on with him. Now that I've surrendered to him, and again, the trip was very great. I could really use that lazy pool right now, if I'm being honest. But, um, yeah, that's really, yeah, it's just been great. This trip has been great. I've found family. I think I said that earlier, but I found a family. I found all these people that really appreciate me and value me for who I am. And that's something I've always been searching for. Um, just acceptance into a family. Um, yeah, it's, that's, that's, that's always what it's come down to, I think. I think I finally found one. So, yeah. Uh, that's basically it for now. That's how I'm going to end the video. This is Daniel Mart. Signing off and God bless you all.